everyone, Spunky Cupcake here, and welcome to my tutorial on how to make and animate a chest. So all we really need is the chest that you start off with when you first open up Blender. And what we want to do is shift tab to turn on the snapping tool, and drag it up until it's lined up with the grid on the floor. Hit S to scale, and X for the x-axis, and hit 2. I want to hit 3 to go in into right perspective, then 5 for right orthographic. Uh, tab to go into <laughs> editing mode, and you want to add 3 loop cuts. What you want to do next is hold Alt and right click to select all these vertices, uh, Z to go into wireframe mode, and C to select open up the selecting tool, which you can grab. Now, various vertices and middle mouse button to you know, deselect. Now you want to hit Y to separate these two and then P to make them into their own separate meshes. Go into object mode and select the top mesh which will be our lid or orthographic and tab to go back into editing mode. Now what you want to do is hit A to select all and you want to drag it to the bottom corner go back into object mode and bring it right back. Now the reason we did that is because sorry about that, I lost my train of thought. The reason we did that is because the origin point will be the pivoting is where it will pivot when you rotate so if we hit R and then X now it opens and closes like a chest. Okay, next thing we want to do is start animating. Now first we need to start off with it being closed, so hit I to open up the keyframe menu and location rotation scale. You could just do rotation, but I always learned to use ro location rotation scale. So that's what I'm going to be using. Then you want to rotate First, we want to jump up to 60, 60 the keyframe. Uh, rotate on the x axis, negative 90. Insert a keyframe. Jump up to 120. Insert a keyframe again, so it will be open for one second. Jump up to 180. Then rotate on the x axis, 90. And then insert one more keyframe. Now if you hold control, shift, and down if you're on Windows, uh, that'll jump you all the way back to the beginning, and it'll do the same if you hit up instead of down, so you can jump to the beginning and end whenever you want. Now we hit Alt-A to start the animation. And it works just fine. Now we want to add a, make it look a little bit more realistic, so what we're going to be doing is adding hinges and fleshing out the chest so it isn't flat and looks like paper. So, let's start off by adding the hinges, and for that what we want to do is add a plane, rotate 90 degrees, now you want to be in wireframe mode, that way you can see this line right here. This line will show you the you know, the splitting point between the bottom, the actual chest part, and the lid. And you want the hinge to be situated right there. So scale it down. If you look in the bottom if you look in the bottom left when you're scaling, you can see how much you're scaling it. So you want to scale it down to 0.1 and then you want to drag it up to, a to uh, where the lines are resting on each other. Now you want to zoom out a little bit and slide it to where you see this grid line. Next you want to do right orthographic and drag it all the way out. Alright is that the right side? Yes it is. Try and get the plane. There we go. Go into edit mode and extrude once. Alright. 
let's flesh this out just a little bit so it isn't so blocky. Bring it up by 0.5. All right. Shift D to duplicate and slide it all the way over here. That way it's, you know, equal. There's an equal distance between them. Grab both of them by holding Shift and right clicking. Duplicate one more time. Rotate. 180 degrees. Drag it right down. All right. Now for the next part, you want to open. You want to add a cylinder. Rotate 90 degrees. Right, so the origin is centered by both of what the panels will be. Scale it down normally until the sides line up. Scale Z point two, and then scale Y point two. Go into right orthographic and drag it all the way over here until the origin is right here on that corner. Now it's duplicate it and bring it right back over there and now you have a hinge what we want to do now is is what's called parenting you want to right click you want to select the hinges which will be moving along with the lid first and the chest last it's a hierarchy thing so whatever you have selected last will be the will be the parent uh, control P set parent to object and now when the animation is going, the hinges should move along with the lid. There we go. So now you got yourself a basic chest. Now what we're going to be doing is you now fleshing out the chest, making it so it isn't so flat. Let's go into front orthographic, tab, E to extrude, scale, and once. Go. Uh, zoom in and slide this until it's flat, line it until it's lined up with the the outside. And you want to do the same with with the bottom. So e extrude and scale. Go into front orthographic and bring it up until it's lined up. By the way, if you want you, if you're using the snapping tool, if you want it to, you know, go a little bit smaller, make smaller increments. If you hold Shift, uh, that will do it. So I hit G and I'm moving it normally, but if I hold Shift, you can see smaller and more controlled. All right, and now we have a fully built chest that is animated. And you know, if you want to add your own little additions to it, or make some changes and adjustments to the look, you know, make it look, look a little bit more like a treasure chest by doing so, uh, you can. You want to add like a little front latch, go for it. It's just a quick little tutorial, and I hope this helps you in whatever you plan on doing. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Uh, if you want, if you have a suggestion on what you would like to see, leave it in a comment down below, and I will see you all next time.